Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ape Escape 2. Today, we enter the monkey. I've never actually seen under the dragon. I really should. We need to capture all but one. Lovely. But there's a reason for this, and that reason is mainly this starting part. Because right outside are like eight monkeys training right outside of the main building. So that's that'll leave us with nine right after that. Uh, whoops, I got a little too close. Alright, well, let's uh... I know this will attract somebody. Double capture! Don't know who the first one was, but the second one was Barry. Ugh! Also, these guys have flip kicks, so careful of that. Yeah, red pants with monkeys in a martial arts area, kind of dangerous. Which is why we have this! I think I once smacked a monkey in the face with this. Um, he's full. Is he? I thought all the monkeys that were training aren't full. No, it's just because he notices me. Let's go somewhere where he won't notice me. He'll eventually stop bothering. Okay. Now, pull out the banana ring. Unfortunately, with the banana ring, you can't aim down. So we'll see if that works. Not particularly. No, no, you don't notice me. I'm not here. There we go. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Okay. Sheesh! But... I'm not going there. I'm not. Okay, so we have a blue pants, a light blue pants, and a yellow pants. Well, at least the light blue pants will be easy. Because even as a martial arts monkey, all it does is bring up a shield. Wesley! Now for these two. <laughs> you tried to use a Gene Paul? Ugh! These bloody martial arts monkeys and their flip kicks, man. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd jump into the water. In case that wasn't obvious. There we go. He was about to flip kick me in the face, but we caught Semeski. Now, if I remember correctly, if Huh, I'm missing one of those group. Well, if you sneak around back here, you'll find a very interesting monkey. This red pants monkey, whose name is... uh, Gandhi? I don't know. Da Damien. No number of flows can... No number of blows can phase him. He has zero aggression stars. Which means... Every time you do that, he'll just get right back into place. Also, he's a really easy capture for this. So, that's probably the easiest red pants monkey you'll ever catch. Unfortunately, he's not affected by the banana rank, but he is in a, me a state of hyper focus. So, you have to uh, admire him for that. Now, since I've got this out, where the heck is that last monkey? Maybe there were only seven of them. Okay. Well, let's head on inside here. Hmm? Cutscene time! Here? Pikachu! Sorry. <laughs> Because they'll run off again if we don't. And now we have Pippachi back! Yay! This means that we will get extra cookies and extra jackets and saved from deadly heights. 
just all sorts of good times. Anyway, push those two statues into place and you can uh, unlock this area. Nothing else around here, so just head on inside. And we can catch this guy. Do I need the super... <clears throat> super hoop for him? Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, okay. We're going to pull out the super hoop. Dab -dab. <laughs> Eventually we'll hit him. Yeah. And we caught Nassim. I don't know. If you want to explain it to me, because I don't understand what it is. Ten. You can have more than nine? Huh. I must have forgotten that. Oh, this part. Can I get this guy with the banana ring? I'm not even going to bother looking his fullness or whatever. Well, he's too far away now. Uh, and now we were just maced in the head. Okay, maybe if I just, uh... Oh, you can also throw it while crawling, which is very interesting. Will he... No. You see that weird, um, the ellipses over his head or whatever? That indicates that he is full. So he's not going to go after it. Which means we get to sit here in a ball until he comes nearby. Actually, that might be close enough. Ah! Uh, dang it! Okay, well, I guess we get to face the full wrath of an aggressive red pants monkey. Ah! Uh, yes! But he fell, allowing us to catch Tai Shing. Ugh! Hey, remember the thing I said about Pippin Shi giving us extra cookies? <laughs> okay. Though I might need it again, which is a shame because you can't get it twice. No, you don't. Right. Any cookies in these stupid arms? Oh! There's two right there. Can't do anything with this really big one, though. I wonder what's up with that. Well, oh. Dang it, I broke his shield. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Ow! Ah, freaking jerk face pig. Where did the. Oh, he went in the water. That doesn't make you easier to catch at all. Hi. Shield does not protect you from that, Johnny. When will they ever learn? Anyway, you hit that gong, and these things come out. I believe they'll retract after a certain amount of time, maybe. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. <coughs> Either way, it gives us plenty. <coughs> no, maybe they don't. Okay. Because when they did. I think I'm thinking of the first game again. Anyway, after going through all that, you're back out in the main area! Oh, I think that's why they make you catch all but one, because there are like three monkeys along that path. So you can't get out of this area without um, finding Pipachu. That's kind of clever. I'll give it to him. Now, one of these things we've never seen before, though I think the first time you could is Lookout Valley. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, just uh, crawl along them, left and right, you know. What do you do? And this guy might be attractive to the banana ring. Let's find out. He's too high. Okay. We'll just uh, fly on up onto this one. I said this game. Work with me here. Skyflyer is not as good as I remember it in the first game. There we go. Now he's down. Right, just, uh... Crawl up here for a bit. You can't tell, but I'm 
curled up. Okay. Now just throw this and see what happens. No, don't get too close. Ah, dang it! I am the worst throw ever with the banana ring. Don't know if you guys noticed that yet. What's he do? Doesn't seem to be reacting to it, but then if he did, there would be dot 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 above his head. So, uh... Ah, dang it! Okay, no, screw the banana ring. I don't like using it anyway. Let's just wait until he's done triple kicking. Oh jeez. Trying to rotate the camera with the right stick. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. And once he does his triple kick, you can catch Ryan. This is also like one of the most dangerous blue pants monkeys to catch ever. Oh, and there's also red pants, which I usually have a lot more trouble with. But that was Monk. He has a tendency you now of hopping from platform to platform. Though we've already got enough of that with the freaking blue pants guy there. And there was no saving that. Oh well. Uh, huh. The game starts us out here though. That's nice. That's kind of it. Hey, what's up? And now we've caught Jules. Uh, do I honestly want to try for this blue pants monkey right now? Well. He is on the other side, so maybe he's easier to catch. Let's see what happens. There he goes. There's no way I'm chasing him with the super hoop that close to the edge. Um, where are you? I knew you were gonna trip eventually, James. Because we needed more Pokemon references, clearly. There weren't enough. Um, what time is it? Okay. Looks like this will be our last adventure of the day. Even though I still need to edit, or well, I've already edited, but I haven't produced uh, Vita Z Factory and up to Snowball Mountain Place, so. Whew. I almost got totally murdered by his kicks there. His name is Daniel C. Ook. Daniel Cook? Maybe? Then what does he have to do with martial arts? Or am I thinking of a different guy? Oh, by the way, that sign there is the easiest way to catch this monkey down here. Because it totally knocks him out. So you can catch the final monkey, Martin. We could use the RC car back there, but um, we've already caught all the monkeys, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's eight. There are 17 monkeys, because it's 8 across. There's no boss battle, is there? Okay. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't want to do the next area right now. Yeah, what the heck? Aww. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it would be to, to think that was cute or whether to be really disturbed. Hey, monkey soccer! Oh, that game. I'll be showing that off eventually. Freaky Monkey 5 battle. Pretty awesome track. I like the boss music in this game. You can spot monkeys out of your field of view and gives you a hand, helping hand on tricky jumps. Which is to say, if you fall off a cliff, you won't die instantly. And the Bombettes! Hey, I was right. Go me. A pin. The Monkey Statue of Liberty, and you'll find a monkey making repairs. But one of your gadgets needs to knock him off. Hint, hint. I wonder if you can hit that dial with anything but the Stun Club. Well, I know you can hit it with that other thing. Seven Wonders of the World. Hmm. Advanced Math and Astronomy. Oh, we've got two games. Dance Monkey Dance and Monkey Soccer. Circles confirm? What the heck? Cancel. Okay. 
Well, uh, you know what? I'll show that off randomly for no apparent reason other than I'm bored. Next time on Let's Play Ape Escape 2. Because it gives me something I can do in less than 10 minutes. Because the next area will definitely take a lot longer than that. Trust me. So, yeah. Until then, later, guys. Welcome back, everyone, to the... You know what I'm not actually doing.